not just bluebirds come to this rally. During one of the tech walkarounds, our group was fortunate enough to get an exterior walkaround tour of this beautifully restored Country Coach Prevost bus conversion. Then, since it was parked right next to me on the circle, I managed to talk the owners into giving me a private tour of the inside. As you'll see, they've done a beautiful job turning this vintage bus into the coach of their dreams. Pretty cosmic. Two, two three thousand watt inverters. And these guys now have come out with a split phase. Yeah. And six batteries. And that's the actual. Back here and look at the engine. We're looking they're at the 4Ds. engine. They're 4Ds. He did oh, say 4Ds. 4Ds? He didn't do lithiums? No, they're not lithiums. He's got three. Four. Oh, four. Okay, so it would be 24 volts. 24, 24, 24 volts. Yeah, it says over here 24 volts. You did check. Yeah, you did check. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any. Uh, it doesn't have any. Uh, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any. The engine seems but to be in really good shape. It's actually it's a brand new belt, but I don't know how new it was when I bought it. It could have been well, went, sitting on a yeah. shelf for 20 years. I took my oil yeah. reservoir out. Every three times I, I didn't really trust. Oh, yeah. There was, there was, it was really contaminated inside. There was water in there and rust and everything else. So you gotta, you gotta I just capped it off right here. Right. I took that out. I took that out. I got um, my, my air conditioning um, chassis. Ch air conditioning doesn't work. So I have to investigate that too at some point. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll tell you, is, I'll tell you a horrible seat. story. I was in Bakersfield, and I pulled in, and I got a noise, and I don't know what's going on. So I phoned the biggest truck repair company in Southern California and Arizona. And the boss answers the phone. He says, "I got guys. No problem." He says, "I'll send somebody out." Great. Where can I meet them? Meet them at the shop. So I pull into the shop. I drop my toad. And I'm sitting there, and he drives up in his truck, and I did this. Open the doors. And he's standing there. I said, what do you think? He says, what the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him, and I said, what do you mean, what the fuck is it? It's a Detroit motor. He says, I've never seen one. Oh, God. <laughs> what year was this? This is four years ago. Four years ago. It was oh, you didn't work on it, too, didn't you? Huh? You didn't work on it, too. No, no. You know what he said to me? I'm late, right? I'm just like, I'm shit because I got a noise. He says, well, I can't work on that. I said, yeah, no problem. He said, I just shut the door. He says, but I'll do you a favor. I won't charge you the call-out fee. In my brain, I'm going, you try and call it, charge me that call-out fee, buddy. You and I are going to the fucking pavement right now. Well, We're you're, I don't know what it is. Here it is. Parking lot, right? I'm outside of his yard, but I don't know what it is. What kind of call-out was that, you know? <laughs> we do all, I'm going to change all these lines, all the fuel lines, and these, these crispy, crispy lines. That's my summer project. Now, you can buy all those. Oh, can you? Yeah, that's just cloth hose. You can take these in and reuse them. What is this? That's an AC dryer. Oh, is it? There's, there's one of these here. There's one under the by the front bumper also. Oh, Yeah. I think you got you got over road air I have I have the the country coach fridge fridge Yeah. Four cameras. I got one that is looking for far. One right down here, so I can see hook up. And then I got two on the sides. What length is this coach? Forty. Forty. Yep. I hadn't seen that with steps on me. Look at look at the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this one up here says Liberty on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, you know, I I, I, I I was messaging with with Gil Johnson, yeah. and um, I said, look, I got Liberty steps on on my country coach, and he said, well. That's because they, whoever had the liberty, they took the best part of their bus and put it on the country coach. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's not a fan of liberties or whatever. We are at uh, Mike and Susie's <clears throat> Prevo uh, country coach? Yep. Okay. Yeah, XL. And, and he's going to show me his handiwork. I guess he's redone pretty much everything inside, right, Mike? That's it. I'll right. never so, show you the, start with the step well here. Okay. The step well is... Um, um, all the flooring we put in the LVP flooring, so I, I put in um, uh, all in the step well here, and I, I made these custom bullnose uh, pieces. It's aluminum, um, wow. and I routered the radius on the front and the grooves, and I put LED lighting behind them. You can see it coming through yep, the holes. Yep, absolutely. Um, well, yeah. Nice, nice. And the tracks there, you made those tracks, or yep. the, oh wow, well, out of the aluminum. Those are machines, out of aluminum. Yeah, hard oh, wow. anodized. And and 
for those of you who don't know, there is a step wall cover here because just above there you've got the passenger seat, just like yeah. That. So this is um the whole the whole front of this bus is all um it's all covered in in uh, leather, uh -huh. and it was all mob. So I I had to try a bunch of different colors to get something that would um that would cover the I love the mob your color. I, I love your color scheme. I mean, it's just uh, the grays and the yeah it, and it, the it white. Was, gray was something that covered mob really easily, so it ended up working out really well really, really well for me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my altimeter up here. Uh, for are you a pilot? No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just, it's still cool because yeah, yeah. if you go to like the Rockies, you know, or yep. someplace that's got and all the gauges all here. Right, it's all generator stuff here. Same stuff that we've had, we just yep. talked about. You know? Yep. My, my auto leveling, I can dump the air, auto level yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Country Coach uses these uh, Sun Mulan switch banks. Which are here. here, and there's yep. there's the uh, air leveling. Yep, there's my inverter controllers. So he's got the two Victron that we just yep. we saw out in the uh, bay yep, exactly. earlier. Yeah, that's my auxiliary air or accessory air gauge. Uh huh. So I put that on there so I could keep an eye on on that. Um, and there's the altimeter we were talking about. Yep. Right and I there. have battery. My house batteries are the red, and then my chassis batteries are off. So those are those would show the 12 and 24 volt uh, right. chassis batteries. And then there's the uh, the air. Yep. Very nice. Very yeah. Nice. So coming uh, and then back. TV. These I love are, your window. You, so you made these window covers? No, no. These were original, but, but they you were just mauve. redid. You redid them. And I used I fabric see. paint. Oh. The fabric paint covered right right over them. All right. So that saved me. I only painted the one side because the other side is that white uh, the white sun blocking material. Yeah. Like LED lighting around all the uh, windows. Yes. Um, that's a LED neon uh, strip lighting. Strip lighting. Yeah. So it comes in fifty foot pieces and. Um, you can splice it together. So if you, you know, you don't have to buy just the right amount and throw it away. You can extend them if needed. Uh huh. It's so, solid. so you go from one to the other. Yeah, this this had that uh, Tavoli lighting in it. Camera's, uh, going, camera's going crazy with it, but rest assured, it's nice, steady blue. Yeah, it's not Tavoli, flashing like in the camera. Tavoli is what the Prevo uses. It's like a, it's like a tube, and you can see the lights inside of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these 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 were uh, covered in a fabric material that matched the. Um, Very cool. I, I recovered those and then tufted those with the yeah. you know, with the button. Yeah, this was nice. easy. All you do is you just take a piece of foam, yeah. glue it to the wood, and yeah. then you just drill drill the holes through the foam and to give yourself a diameter and, and screw it down. Got, you've got tons of vents. Yeah, these air, are all the air conditioning stuff, and this has right. the hatch, escape hatch. Right. That all the buses have. Right. And then um, the same thing on the other side. Yep. Now is this oh, a table? Yeah. So we have electric recliners here. Yeah. And then we have a fifty-five inch. Table. And you did that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, yep. I did the one in the back bedroom that way, you know, same, yeah. it's the same exact thing. It really I, I'm going to put this on a hinge. Um, I was uh, waiting these tufting buttons. Uh, I can't buy them anymore, so I'm going to have to make them. Oh, so I was going to tough this, the top of this and finish tufting yeah, this to match, to match it. Yeah, but uh, I ran 12 volt inside of here. So if I want to put LED lighting, I can oh, yeah, they every, one, yeah. every one of those outlets yeah. uses power. And I'm like, mm, no, I'll, no, I'll put my own. Deal in <laughs> these were fabric covered and I recovered these. I bought some uh, I did a tufting board to go across the window up top there. Um, I love the color scheme. You pick it up? I did not actually. You oh. picked, she picked I the floor picked out. the flooring uh -huh. and I helped and I picked out the uh, refrigerator. That was my contribution. Uh -huh, okay. And and the color, the pillows and stuff I picked yeah. up. New faucet, I mean new faucets, new uh, this had a uh, an insta hot for hot water, I took we, that out. I did too. And put a soap dispenser. It makes sense. <laughs> the whole worked out perfect. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, but so even the wood had like um, like blue and like pink tones, undertones in it. Oh, I know, I know. And, I, it it, was it, ugly. and, and it made everything pink. The, yeah. the windows, the yes. light. It yeah. just. Not sorry, good. anyone who was one of those coaches. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the refrigerator bot, but it was Home Depot. I'm, I'm using oh. 61 watts with That's the compressor right. running. Uh huh. So I put one of those little guys in. So I could monitor kind of what, what the refrigerator was seeing, and I have a also have an on-off switch if I want to, when I'm storing it. I can turn it turn it off. Like a temperature freezer and fridge. Yeah. Here's my solar my solar monitor, my solar stuff coming in. So I, you know, the sun's going down. My panels are flat, but you can see it's pulling in a little bit a little bit now. It's only pulling yeah. two amps. Yeah. You know, even on a cloudy, rainy day, you're still going to pull something. In. Yeah, yeah. I, I use it for the house batteries, and then we got our our weather station. Yeah, our weather station that. here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. In the back bedroom area. Here, here, yeah, everyone comes with two showers. Oh, yeah. um, I put um, on all the door cabinet doors. I put in these um, yeah. open close switches, so you you know. Yeah, that way you can, when you open it, you get a light inside there. Yep, yep, yep. And I made this switch on and off here. Yeah, nice. And yeah, you know, the bathroom. You have done so much work. Replaced oh my the same gosh, cabinet. I am still totally impressed. Um, 
that fabric tape, which is something or other it's called, uh -huh. where you can just uh -huh. iron it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A hole punch, a leather punch, and I punched in holes in it and then fed the rod through it. So that, yeah, that could be my side of there is the, is the roll cool. off of that. Yep. Put in the radio. I got a radio back here, Bluetooth with the speakers up yep. here. Yep. Yep. Listen yep. to music. I like your chairs. It looks very comfortable. Yeah, these are really comfortable. Your puppy likes that one, I'm sure. They're yep. recliners. They recline out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but don't make into a bed. Right. Right. Yeah, we okay. built this for two people. Yeah. yeah. So just yeah. the two of us, we, we want a comfortable place to kick back and watch movies. And, um, you know, if it's time to go to sleep, we go, you know, go back there. Right. Okay. Okay. And thank you very much for the tour. Right. Well, that truly is a beautiful coach outside and inside. Prevo-based motor coaches really do have a lot in common with Wonder Lodges. Thanks again to Mike and Susie for graciously allowing us to see their beautiful country coach, and thanks for watching.